Hey everybody, it's Dwight with Naval Garage. Now that you've had an introduction to the 1968 Cadillac, which was the last video, go find that if you have an interest. This segment I wanted to bring to you some of the uh, publications that I found and some things I learned about the car, which have been interesting to me anyway. Um, so if you got a 68 Cadillac, uh, hopefully some of this will help and you can get started on your project. So let's get right into it. First piece of publication I found interesting comes from uh, Summit Racing on all cylinders. And this is just one page of uh, many. This is the page that pertains to the car I'm working on. And what I wanted to bring attention to is the Cadillac. Is considered a C-body car. The only other two cars that are in considered the C-body are this Buick Electra and the 225 and the Oldsmobile 98. So there may be some similarities in parts there. I haven't gotten that far, haven't had the need to research that, but that's one piece of information that might help you. This page comes from uh, automobile-catalog.com and this is a, basically a tech sheet for the Cadillac. Some information I put down in my own notes I thought was interesting is um, the VIN number is very short <laughs> compared to the 17 characters we are used to. Uh, so the F is considered a luxury body car, the 8 for 68, and then this series of numbers is the manufactured. My car um, is a 135012 out of 233 total so it's right in the middle of the production run I'll share some notes here that I've made in my own book maybe this will help you um, it's the firing order the number one cylinders on the passenger side which most GMs I worked on has always been on the driver side spark plug type is the 44N has a member of the gap is 35 and I'll let you read the rest In my opinion, the most important tool that you have at your disposal for any project is information. I found this book online on eBay. Now they do make this book as a reprint new, about $55 I think. I got this one for $29 uh, shipped, so I think it was a pretty good value. And you can see that I have put a lot of tabs in this already, especially in the wiring diagrams. Now I will tell you, wiring diagrams are very small at least for me so what I have been doing is copying the areas that I need and making them bigger so that I can see what's going on and the last publication I have so far anyway is this book that was recommended by a youtuber I can't remember who it was I however have not found a lot of help in this book because it mostly uh, pertains to other GM body styles other than Cadillac however there are some similarities and there are some good points uh, on how to get certain things off removed um, it has a lot to do with of course the body as its uh, title indicates so a lot of this is interchangeable with other GM, so it gives you a good idea of maybe what you're getting into on your project. If this was a new book, and like I said, I haven't found it totally useful yet, but we're just starting this project. So no fault to the book, I just haven't had the need for it yet. I'm sure there will be times that uh, it'll become handy. So that's it for the books. original parts group I've gotten a lot of parts from them although at the, the time of this video they are back order for quite a few things another website I found is Caddy Daddy I have ordered some things from this company but he tends to be my last choice because he's very expensive and of course we have the good old Rock Auto uh, here's 68 DeVille 472 engine here's all the um, accessories that you can choose from there's quite a few parts and I must say in some cases they're cheaper than what I can get locally at with even with my uh, account and of course we have the good old YouTube 
Um, didn't find a lot of videos so far. If you have a specific area you need help in, that's how I've found a few things um, to help in my progress. So I hope that helps. <laughs> so that's all I have for you in this video. I'll let you know if I find out any more about uh, parts availability, any more books that are available, or information about these cars. A few things have surprised me on this. One is the cost of parts, and two is the uh, ability of parts. There's not a lot of new parts available, especially for uh, chrome trim and interior parts. I've had to rely on uh, eBay and salvage yards for those. There is a salvage yard in Wisconsin I have not included yet, but I'll put that below right here as soon as I can either remember his name or find his business card. He's been uh, pretty good about supplying parts. However, I'm sure his cars, uh, by the time you see this video, will be <laughs> pretty well stripped. By the time I got to it, it was already about half stripped of things I wanted, but I did find uh, find a few things so uh, all right that's it guys uh, thanks for all of you who have uh, been subscribing thank you to all my old subscribers who I consider friends there are about 20 or 30 of you that are very good about commenting and you know I love staying in touch so keep it up I always enjoy seeing you in the comment section and I've actually got to meet a few of you and that's always pretty cool so all right we'll see you in the next video